you will first be greeted by the welcome screen. Press any key will allow you to um, log, uh, log into the computer or you can simply flip it up. After you log in, you will be greeted with the start menu. You can flip it by using your fingers if you have a touch screen. If you don't, you can use your mouse wheel button. You will flip flip it through the um, all the applications. Pressing the desktop tile will bring you to the desktop. The first thing you will notice is that the start menu is missing by flipping from the right hand side. That means from here. And then you will see the start menu from here. If you don't have a touch screen, the easiest way is to press the Windows key, the start key. It will also bring bring up the start menu. The other way, if you own, if you want to do it with a mouse, so you can put your mouse at the lower left hand corner in here. And you will bring up the start menu. If you right click at this time, it will give you an option of uh, bringing up the some geeky features like event viewer, device manager, disk management, all those administrative tools as well as task managers. But if you simply click on the uh, icon, then you will simply bring up the start menu. One of the new features for um, Windows 8 is the new copy feature. It gives you a graph about uh, the speed that you copy the files. You can choose uh, less detail or you can choose more details. Another interesting feature of Windows 8 is the new enhanced uh, task manager. So right click on the taskbar and choose task manager and you will see the more detailed information and you can have a performance graph application history you can also choose like uh, how uh, what application to enable to start up uh, when the uh, windows boots up there is also a, a new on screen keyboard and in here you can choose the size of the button so uh, you can choose the uh, larger button or you can choose the smaller or medium button which is the default uh, there's also different kind of keyboards if you don't like the thumb keyboard you can click on the uh, one of the uh, keyboard key and then you can choose between the regular keyboard this is the default one, or you can actually do a, a rating. And then click insert. There's a new charm bar you can activate it by pressing window key and C if you're using keyboard. If not, you can if you're using touch screen, you can just flip it from the right hand side. And then you can bring up the uh, settings, device, uh, share and search. It's the same in all application. So for example, if you go to uh, say Internet Explorer, you can also bring up the charm bar and then you can share when you press the uh, share you will share the um, web page you are currently viewing to switch to different metro application you just do the flip from the left hand side and then you can switch between all the different applications 
if you do uh, like flipping inside and back then you will bring a multitask list there's also a very interesting uh, picture password so by uh, entering some gesture for example you can draw on this picture instead of entering the password so this you will save you uh, if you have a touch screen it will be easier for you to log in instead of typing in your password and that's it for now thank you for listening tomorrow i will go for more details on each features